Okay, so good morning, um, good afternoon. <laughs> it's morning here, so I'm so used to saying good morning. Um, I just wanted to welcome you guys. I'm sure some people will jump on. This is a very hard time for a lot of people, 6 p.m. on a Saturday, I know. But um, we tried to make it work for both me and Vicken. And I know so many people asked me to please record this so that they could jump on and watch it later for themselves. So feel free. Um, to be participating in this class or just to be watching and doing it later. And um, without further ado, I'm so excited to talk to you guys about essential oils and yoga and introduce Regan, who, I mean, we're doing this together. So Regan, if you want to say hi. Hi, guys. I'm so <laughs> excited. I'm also just like bursting at the team. Awesome. So I'm going to show um, a little slide that I made so that I can stay on track. We're going to do our best to keep this to exactly one hour. And then, um, you know, if you guys have questions, then you can ask, of course. So here we go. Okay, can you all see the screen? You can just do a thumbs up. Awesome. Okay. So, um, and is it clear enough? All good? Okay. Great. So today we're just going to go over a little bit about who I am, who Reganet is, um, what essential oils are, how they work, the benefits of integrating them into your practice, and then some specific applications and recipes. And at the end, we'll just do a very quick recap with you guys. Okay, so who are we? So I am Jade. I've been using essential oils in my family for about three and a half years now and I got started because my little one who was 16 months at the time had these unexplained fevers for many days in a row and when I took her to the pediatrician we couldn't find anything wrong with her and then on the way home she had a febrile seizure which was horrible and scary and I was just told have her on medication you know every four hours give her pain medication and alternate it so I did that for another five days and it didn't really seem to help and she was still super miserable and I had no answers. Luckily, she got better, naturally, but I just decided that I knew I was pumping so much medication in her that I wanted to find an alternative because I was just told anytime your child gets a seizure like this, you are going to need to medicate her. So that never sat well with me and I decided um, I need to find an alternative. So I came across essential oils and I knew that I needed to make really sure that I would be using the absolute best quality because I'm using this on my child and for my whole family. So I actually work as a sleep trainer as well. I'm a mommy consultant. So I work with lots of families to help them get their children on age appropriate routines. And I've been doing that for seven years now. And it's been amazing and wonderful. And I love to show people how to find more balance in their life, how to get the whole family sleeping, how to get the whole family eating healthy foods well. So naturally, you know, exercise and doing yoga goes so hand in hand with so much that I believe in, because I also believe that even children need appropriate stimulation. So Regan, do you want to just quickly say who you are and what you do? Yeah, I just quickly unmuted myself. I don't want there to be any echo. No worries. Um, so my name is Regan Dos Santos. I am founder of Regan Ray Yoga. I've been practicing yoga on and off for about six years, but never consistently. Um, I only started getting a consistent practice when I finished studying and I went over to India to do my teacher training in the south of India, it was absolutely stunning. And since I've done that, I've fallen head over heels in love with yoga and the benefits, or all the benefits that come along with it, to be honest, has completely changed the relationship that I have with my mind and with my body. And I'm forever wanting to expand my knowledge. And I know that essential oils are such an incredible tool. And so that's why I actually reached out today because I was like, I think we've got a good opportunity here to work together and to help people. So. I guess if you had to ask me why I love yoga so much is because I see the profound impact that it has on my students. Um, I absolutely love helping people feel better in their own physical bodies and mental bodies and even spiritual bodies. So yeah, cool. that's me. <laughs> oh, Jay, I think you're still on mute. Yeah, sorry, I wasn't in the right screen. <clears throat> I was so, so listening to you. <clears throat> 
Sorry. Okay. So, and I think both of us can agree that we are just so passionate about helping people and very excited today to share some of our information with you guys. So that's a little about who we are. And now um, to go into what are essential oils. So essential oils are the lifeblood of a plant. Okay. So there it's the goal of an essential oil within plants are to protect and strengthen the plant. Each one is unique. And it's a volatile fluid. It's apt oh, sorry, adaptogenic, antiviral, antifungal, antiseptic, and antibacterial. That's all of the essential oils. They are extracted from roots, leaves, barks, seeds, all different parts of the plant. It is very much studied and discovered where the most nutritious part of that plant is. And then we use low heat, steam yeah. distillation, or resin tapping to actually. Sorry, the slides aren't showing. Sorry to be so rude, but we just oh, need to log in. No. Okay, hang Sorry on. Sorry to interrupt. It's horrible. But no, no. I'm glad you told me. Okay, can you see now? Um, yes, yes, perfect. Sorry. No there problem. Thanks for telling me. Okay. Cool. So, yeah, you can jump in anytime. <laughs> so, anyhow, they are tiny in size. So, each molecule is 40, it has 40 million trillion molecules in just one drop, which is amazing. So that means when people would say something like, oh, I use half a lemon in my water to detox, we say try one drop of lemon essential oil because it is extremely concentrated and they are 70 times stronger than the herbs that you find you know, in your garden. So really they are incredible, super potent. And the most remarkable thing is that they can cross the blood brain barrier where most chemicals or other drugs cannot. Okay, so Regan, are we good? You can see this, you can thumbs up me because I know you're awesome. Okay, so how quickly do essential oils work? So in 22 seconds, the molecules reach the brain. In two minutes, they would be found in the bloodstream. In 20 minutes, they'll affect every cell in the body. They are truly mighty. They're tiny size and our inherent human receptors make them the perfect natural medicine for us. There are three methods of use when it comes to essential oils. We follow the French method. There are different schools of thought, but because ours are 100% pure and they are therapeutic A-grade oils, we follow all three of these methods. So we can use these oils aromatically, and that would be using them like we're going to do today. So if you guys have frankincense, or if you have, we'll talk about which oils, but to use it aromatically, you would put one drop in your hands like this, and you would just take a good inhale. We kind of call that an aroma dome because you're making like an aroma dome over your nose and mouth. And then of course, the other way is to use a diffuser, which I have going behind me here. Um, so that's the two ways to use them aromatically. Topically, we can make rollers, and a roller bottle is like a 10 mole roller, and you could add carrier oil to this. And then you've got essential oils and carrier oils. And the way that we use this is, let's say it's for a headache, you would put it on your temples, you'd put it where you have pain, or you, you basically are targeting the source. And the reason we are diluting the essential oils is because if it is a hot oil, like peppermint, or even thieves essential oil, we want to actually add a carrier to dilute it a little bit. And of course, if we're using it on children and babies, need to dilute appropriately because they are super powerful and intense. The other way of using them topically is as adults, you could just take a drop of, let's say, pan away, which is pain away, and put it on a cough that hurts. So you can use it neat, meaning one drop out the bottle and put it where it hurts. And then finally, we use oils internally. So in South Africa at the moment, we're still waiting for our license to say that we do. I live in the United States, and so it's fine and safe for me to share with you that we can and safely use these internally. So we know this, but we are still waiting for that license to be able to state that to South Africans. So there's only about 47 essential oils within our range that are safe for internal use. And that way you can actually flavor your water, kind of like I mentioned, put a drop of lemon essential oil in your water, or I actually have here thieves tea that I've made myself. So this is good for immunity. It has one drop of thieves essential oil, two drops of lemon and a bunch of honey. And then I add some warm water to that. So that's, I'm, I'm busy fueling my immune system right now and kind of feeding it and boosting it. 
Um, you can also flavor food with these oils. And of course, we can take capsules. You can make your own capsules for pain um, and other related things, weight loss. So that's how we use them. Okay, so why Young Living? Because there are so many essential oils right now, okay? You can buy anything, anywhere. I mean, you go into clicks or Discam, and there are so many essential oils. So why choose Young Living? Well, it is the only company that has their own farms. They own and operate their own farms. So their cultivation process is far beyond any organic standard of measurement. Um, they believe in native farming practices. Young Living has over 25 years of experience and their whole ethos is about positive energy. Um, even the farmers who go to work every day are positive, happy people. And they, it's, it's really amazing. So even if they're in a bad mood that day or they're not like feeling well, they'll actually ask them to go home, get better, because they are all about talking to the plants and truly giving everything to the plants. So everything of their energy, which is just really unique and special. Okay, they're harvesting and distillation practices. They use the correct time. It's very slow, low heat, and we do one-time distillation only. For those of you who don't understand what that means, imagine that you wanted an espresso from a coffee shop. You'd go to your barista, you'd ask for an espresso, they would put the beans, they'd run it through the machine, and you would get what would be called a one-time distilled espresso. So the next person comes in and the barista adds more water to run it through the same machine using the same beans. They are getting a two-time distilled espresso and so on and so forth. Most companies are doing a fifth time distillation with the essential oils that you are getting in a bottle, meaning it's diluted um, and other companies are actually putting synthetics in the bottle. It's a pretty sad fact, but it's true that more lavender essential oil comes out of France than actual plant material. So that's telling us that they are actually synthetically producing the fragrance of lavender. And unfortunately, it has zero therapeutic benefits. So something like lavender, we can actually safely use our Young Living Lavender on up to a third degree burn. And you could just use that neatly if you burned yourself on the stove because there is nothing else added. So when someone says, oh, I think you know, I'm allergic to X, Y, Z, Usually it is not to our essential oils because they have been distilled properly and there's nothing else added. So there's no chemicals and no fillers or synthetics. They're hundred percent pure. They also have what's called our seed to seal promise. So we own our own farms. We have an open door transparent policy, meaning anyone can go and visit the farms. I've seen about three or four of them. They're incredible. They're so beautiful and there is nothing to hide. The people who work in the labs are so proud of what they do. They happily talk to you, show you, explain the testing. Um, on the farms, you meet the farmers, you hear their stories, how they, they feel so blessed and lucky to come to Young Living. We don't waste anything, we're very sustainable. So even when there are like le the actual lemon juice, that gets given to the farmers because we actually will distill from the rind of a lemon and not the inside because it's more nutritious from the rind. So nothing is wasted. We even use our own essential oils as a form of weeding and our pesticide. So there's no chemicals on the farm at all. Okay, so yoga and essential oils. So our yoga practice definitely changes depending on our needs, right? I mean, I'm sure Regan will explain this too. So it's okay even if all you have is five minutes in a day, or if you have an hour, you do what you can. So we can also change up what we feel our body might need in that moment. It's all about listening to ourselves and being intuitive. So one morning you may need something energetic with fast paced flow versus a lazy Sunday morning that your needs are completely different. So maybe holding poses or doing restorative yoga may be more in alignment with what your body's needs are in that day. So your intuition definitely comes into play. And yoga, yoga, sorry, is truly a system of self-care, as Regan said herself, like her whole goal is realizing and seeing the benefits for people who practice this daily and that it's it stems from a place that she wants to help as well, you know? Okay, so what we love about essential oils is bringing them together. They work so synergistically. And we're gonna talk a little bit more about that. So start by having a diffuser filled with filtered water. You can use intuition to choose whatever essential oils feel best for you. So today, I'll quickly show you mine. Um, here's my diffuser going. Hopefully you can all see this. and. Um, 
Anyway, so here's my diffuser and I've put filtered water. And today I decided that I'm doing using frankincense and I put lemongrass in mine. So you can choose based on intuition, absolutely. But of course, different oils will do and evoke different, um, it will have a different purpose. So some of the diffuser blends we recommend are orange and cedarwood for grounding and energy, frankincense and lavender for calming and focus, peace and calming for peace and calming. Okay, so yeah, there is an oil called peace and calming. Then standing poses are very grounding poses. So we like to use tree oils to support these. Frankincense or myrrh, you would use one or two drops cupped in your hands and you would deeply inhale and exhale for a minute to intensify your practice. Get centered, isn't that cute? Like get, you know, centered, but also a sense. Um, rub a drop onto your heart center to remind yourself to keep your heart open and let love in. Back bends are very awakening and heart opening. So they are enhanced with the use of uplifting oils like citrus fresh, orange, grapefruit, or joy. So three do drops diffused up to one hour, three times a day. So again, you can use your diffuser for this. You can also have a roller bottle ready and you can dilute one to one, meaning one drop of carrier oil to one drop of essential oil. So depending on how you're making this, and then you can put it on the back of your neck and your inner wrist. Start your yoga session by spritzing your mat with one or a blend of the above essential oils for an energizing and joyful practice. Okay, for forward bends and um, certain, sorry, certain young living oil blends can help the nervous system get the help that that needs to release high levels of stress. So for these, that's in doing a forward bend, we want to use Young Living Haven or Peace and Calming. And Haven and Stress Away, which is the one that I have, are exactly the same thing. A nice little tip is to actually get the Aroma Glide fitment, and then you can just have it ready to roll and put that on your wrists. So this, you can put a drop of either of these oils on your yoga mat and soak up that calming smell before Savasana. And you can apply the Roma Glide fitment like I just show, showed you to roll it on your wrist or back of neck. Okay, restorative poses are incredibly supportive for our nervous system and overall stress levels. And you can add the following essential oils to the mix. So we have lavender lang lang or vala, you can choose. I mean, of course you can blend all three, but try using this diffuser blend during your restorative yoga practice. Three drops of lavender and three drops of lang lang. Lang Lang is amazing. It's also like a sexy time oil. So this is a good one if you're feeling a bit low on the libido front. And using the roller fitment, you can also apply the Vala behind your ears. I happen to have a Vala roll on. So that's really nice. And we can put it exactly there behind our ears, okay? Lang Lang essential oil helps release feelings of tension, anxiety, and irritation. So it naturally is gonna calm the heartbeat and breathing pattern. You can massage it into areas of tension, like shoulders, low back, prior to doing something like child's pose, and then enjoy the relaxing aroma during the child's pose as if your head melts towards the earth and your heart surrenders to truth with the arms outstretched in acceptance. Okay, inversions, they are hugely beneficial to our body's nervous system and so much more in a similar way to this powerhouse of an oil, we would use peppermint essential oil. So this is going to invigorate and awaken all your senses. So you can diffuse it or make the aroma dome in your hands for an added energy boost, increased alertness and focus. You can also make a roller bottle, a 10 ml roller with 10 drops of peppermint oil and fill it with carrier oil, rub it on your shoulders and neck. And the bonus is it purifies the atmosphere. I love to use peppermint, especially when we were traveling more, I would Pull that out. I'm telling you, like people all around me, like, mm, it smells so nice. It's so fresh. Okay, so yogi twists are amazing for digestion, especially when coupled with the essential oils to enhance the abdomen's receptivity. Lemongrass, peppermint, or dajas. You can use any one of those three, and you would want to put it in a roller, like I showed you, a roller bottle. So in a 10 ml roller, a tummy twist recipe is 20 drops of dajas essential oil which is for all things digestion, 10 drops of peppermint oil, fill it with the carrier oil, or you can do one drop of lemongrass on your mat and just inhale deeply as you twist. So lemongrass is incredible. It's actually very anti-inflammatory. This is the one that I put in my diffuser today. A 
And so even after the most hectic day, you have an astonishing ability to help me calm down. This is like our prayer to lemongrass. When I catch a trace of your inspiring aroma during my deep breathing exercise, I feel more relaxed than I have in hours. Your companionship during my daily meditation helps bring me calm and clarity, which is such a nice little prayer to lemongrass. So a nice let go diffuser blend is going to be four drops of lemongrass and four drops of lavender. And today Regan wanted to do like a let go type of yoga for you guys. And that is why I personally chose to put frankincense for grounding. She said it's going to be very grounding and it's going to be about letting go. So I've chosen frankincense and I've chosen lemongrass. So if you have Young Living Oils, please go ahead and put those in your diffuser now. Three drops of each will be amazing to start. Here I've got four drops of lemongrass and four drops of lavender, but I don't encourage you to use the lavender. You can, but it's a bit sleepy. So unless you're going to go straight, you know, to relax, calm and sleep, then you can use that. Oh, and before I actually continue, this yoga mat cleaner, this is what um, Regan and I are going to be giving away two of these. So we're doing a raffle. And the only way I'm going to know to give it to you guys is if you please give me your email address. So just write in the chat over there what your email address is, and then you'll be automatically entered to win this. And what I do is at the end of the class, I, I will do the raffle, and then we'll send you an email and let you all know who won the raffle. Also, we do a really cool follow-up. I will reshare this class so that you can actually go through and get all these recipes for yourself. And then we also, we have a whole bunch of like follow-up info. Mine and Regan's intention is not to irritate or bug you with ten slews of emails, but instead just to give you the follow-up that I know that you're going to want after this class. So make sure to put your email address in the chat option so that you will be entered to win a yoga mat cleaner. So there are two options to make a yoga mat cleaner spray. My one today happens to just be the Thieves household. It's non-toxic and it's a cleaner. So it has a quarter capful of the Thieves household cleaner with filtered water. But the other option is you can make another spray bottle with 10 drops of Thieves essential oil. It kills germs and bacteria. And you can add five drops of tea tree essential oil. You would fill it with a teaspoon of witch hazel and then some filtered water. That's important because that's how it's going to get it to mix in the spray bottle. So at this point, I'm actually going to stop and hand it over to Regan, and then we'll continue with, you know, if you are interested in essential oils, how you could get started and where to get these, you know. So I will go through that. Um, but for now, I'm going to let Regan take over while I quickly take a shot of Ningxia. <laughs> this is also an amazing, beautiful powerhouse idea to do before class. It's energizing, super food, and just delicious. So I'm going to have that, and I'm handing you over to Regan. Who is going to take you to your class. Should I just spotlight my video here? Pardon? Should I just spotlight my video to make it bigger? Yes, and I'm just going to mute. Yep, and there I'm muting go. myself. Thanks. Okay, guys. So before we get started, um, if you guys want to go grab those essential oils, mm. maybe something quite uplifting, frankincense, maybe something quite citrusy, just send me great body. I also like to use peppermint in the beginning just to give myself a nice pick me up, but I am quite a high energy person and I like pushing the limit. So if that's not something you'd like, then that's fine. But before we get started, I want to take you through um, a mudra that we're going to use with the hands. It's just an option for you guys to express if you want to, but the mudra that I'm going to teach you with the hand symbol allows us to visualize the letting go of stagnant energy. So it's called Sepana Mudra. You bring your hands to pray at heart center. You twist the fingers to the side and interlace the hands releasing both the index fingers and crossing the thumbs over one another. Okay, that's called Sepana Mudra. And the theory goes that when you inhale, you inhale new breath into the body, a new beginning, and you exhale releasing through the fingertips, just a visualization, all the all the stagnant energy. So that's what I invite you when I say Sepana Mudra, that's what I mean. And that's absolutely wonderful. If you guys want to join in, I'd love that. If not, you can make your way over to your yoga mats, get yourselves nice and comfy. We're going to start in a downward facing dog. So a little bit less conventional than usual, but we don't have much time to warm up completely. So hopefully you can all see me. Jade, if you can just have a shout on the mic if anything goes wrong. So getting comfortable in your downward facing dog. Starting in a tabletop position, if you'd like to first, you tuck the toes and then you lift the hips and send the body up and back. And I like to start my first downward facing dog in a really nice 
bent knee position. So just settling in here, it's the first downward facing dog of the day. You'd just like to pedal out the feet or the legs one at a time settling in. Going through your checks and your downward facing dog, we're pushing into the hands, trying to root the heels down into the earth. Nice straight back, bending into the knees to help you straighten up the back. Take two deep breaths here. Inhale, maybe sigh it out. Exhale. One deep inhale again, and sigh it out. Exhale. Our intention today is to get rid of stagnant energy. So let's think about that as we twist. Lifting the left hand off the mat, inhale. Exhale, bring the left hand to the right shin. Twisting, under, maybe looking underneath that right arm. Find the inhale. Exhale to twist and release what no longer serves us. Back to down dog, left hand meets the right, inhale. Exhale, twist to the left this time. As the right hand comes to the left ankle, exhale. One more deep breath, inhale. Exhale, can you look underneath that left armpit? Coming back through center. This is just our warm up flow, downward facing dog. Look forward, inhale. And then I want you to slowly walk to the top of your mat. Keep your knees nice and bent. You may feel the awakening up in the back line of the legs. Coming to a wide legged forward or top of your space. Inhale, halfway lift, space and spine nice and straight. Exhale, bend the knees, ragdoll. Hang nice and heavy, take hold of opposite hand to opposite elbow. Inhale. Exhale, release the elbows and the hands. Once again, halfway lift, spine long, hands to shin, nice straight back. Inhale, strong in the spine. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, Malasana squat, heels in, toes out. We sink nice and low, elbows into knees, knees into elbows. I invite you to take your Sepana Mudra here, releasing the fingers down, except the index. Take a deep inhale here, get fresh energy into the body. Exhale, release the stagnant energy through the fingertip. Maybe sigh it out. This time you inhale, standing all the way up. High mountain, take it slowly. Exhale, some is easy here. Pull that sepana mudra to your heart space. Once again, we go through that breathing meditation. Stay in stillness. Inhale, flap your lungs. Exhale, release what no longer serves you. Sigh it out. Inhale. High mountain with that sepana mudra, lift the arms up. Exhale slowly back down to malasana squat. Take it slowly this time, feel into your body. Inhale, malasana, stay. Hands to the earth, release the mudra. Straighten the legs. Wide legged forward fold again. And really take your time to get into this. Bend your knees if you need to. Inhale, halfway lift. Plant the hands down, step back, high plank. From your high plank. Your hands are there, or your shoulders are directly underneath your wrists, high into the tippy toes. You can use your knees if you'd like to, full high planks too much. Everybody inhale. Let's get some energy moving. Exhale to Chaturanga, bend the arms 90 degrees. Inhale for Cobra, or upward facing dog. Straightening the arms, lifting the body. Look up, inhale, fluff your lungs, fluff with new energy. Exhale, downward facing dog. Settling in your down dog. This is meant to be a restorative position. If you'd like to take it into child's pose, which would be dropping the knees and sinking the hips down, you're more than welcome to. We have three breaths here. So I want you to focus this breath on inviting new energy into the body, maybe sighing out or fluttering the lips, everything that does no longer serve you. Feel and have that visualization of breathing in that beautiful aroma of the essential oils. One more deep inhale. And exhale. This time, inhale. Three-legged dog as the right leg comes up into the air. This will look different for everybody. Find the inhale. One more breath. Exhale, low lunge. Step the right foot in between the hands or as close there to as you can get. And then wiggle that right foot in between the hands. Low lunge here. Inhale. Exhale, drop the back knee. Anjana Yasana with that Sepana Mudra if you want to use it. Inhale. Arms lift up. Exhale, stay. Inhale, one more time. Exhale, half splits as you place the hands down. Straighten that front right leg. Okay, inhale. Exhale. Back to Anjana Yasana with the Sapana Mudra. Remember, we inhale, fill up a new energy. Exhale, breathing it out the fingertips. One more inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, frame the hands with the front foot. 
Straighten up and out of that back leg, low lunge. Meet me in high plank as you step back. Shoulders directly over the hips, or rather over the wrists. Drop the knees if you'd like to. Take your chaturanga, your vinyasa. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog, shifting it up and back. Staying in your down dog here. I just wanna make sure everything's going smoothly. You've got three breaths in your down dog. Inhale. And exhale. Remember, every time you inhale, it's an invitation to refresh. Every exhale is an opportunity to release. Let's move. Inhale, three-legged dog. Left leg rises this time. Lift it up and back. Exhale, knee to nose or as close as you can get it. Place that right, left foot in between the hands. Low lunge. Right knee drops down this time. Sepana mudra with the hands. Inhale, Anjani Yasana lift. Fill up your lungs and sigh out when no longer serves you. Inhale, Anjani Yasana. Exhale, half split, half Hanuman. Straighten that left leg, bring the hands down. Really try to avoid rounding into the spine here. I want you to be nice and straight, even if that means that you stand up a little bit out of it. Let's move on the inhale, Sipana Mudra. Anjana Yasana, as you sink the hips low, lift the arms up one. Deep inhale to refresh. Exhale to release. Inhale, lift the arms up. Hands frame the left foot. Straighten that right leg and then step back to your high plank. You can use your knees if you'd like to. And you really use these vinyasas to reset. Inhale. Exhale, chaturanga, bend the elbows back, hug them in, squeeze, inhale, upward facing dog, you untuck the toes, squeeze the bum, straighten the arms, look up, inhale, exhale, downward facing dog, rolling up and back. All right, this is your restorative pose. If you need to move to child's pose for this, you can, you've got three breaths, so really make it your own, look after your own body, feel what it's like to be in your body. As we take this opportunity here to scan through the physical body now that we've moved a bit, we're gonna do that flow again, but we're gonna add one or two postures to it. So hopefully it starts to become a creative outlet for you. Inhale, the right leg rises, three-legged dog, lift it up. And then exhale, low lunge, as the right foot steps in between the hands. Sorry, I'll give you a moment there. I've got some people may have been a child's pose. So we're in a low lunge, right foot in between the hands, left leg nice and straight. Remember your Sepana Mudra as the left knee drops, inhale, Anjana Yasana. And then exhale, half Hanuman, half splits, hands come down straight in the front right leg. Again, with that Sepana Mudra, inhale, Anjana Yasana. And exhale to stay. Listen carefully, tuck the back toes. Straighten the back front leg or the back leg, you're coming up to high crescent lunge. So nice high lunge, inhale. Stay for the exhale. Remember that Sepana Mudra. We inhale, invite new energy. Exhale, maybe side out, release. I'm gonna swap my legs so you can see me. One more inhale here. Yeah? Exhale, slice open, warrior two. All right, we're gonna hold your head, warrior two, deep bend into the front right leg. Right knee stays directly over the right ankle. Hands in a capital T shape. Inhale, peace warrior. Right arm sweeps up and back. Exhale, stay. Next inhale, listen carefully. Right leg straightens, peaceful triangle. Stay for the exhale. This is the trickiest transition, so <laughs> listen carefully. Inhale. Exhale, the right hand comes down. You're going to face the long edge of your mat. The right hand comes to the floor. You may need to swivel that right foot in. The feet are facing one another. So we're coming into a twisted, wide-legged forward fold. Yes, inhale. I want you to reach those left fingertips up towards the ceiling. Exhale, left hand meets the right. So we're in a wide-legged forward fold here. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fall down the midline. Two breaths here. Inhale to invite new energy. Exhale to release it. Inhale one more time. Exhale. Halfway lift. Hands on the focus. Straight. Heels come in. Toes go out. Bend the knees. Coming into horse with that Sepana Mudra. Slicing all the way. Stand. Inhale. And exhale. over that right foot to a low lunge. Beautiful. 
from your low lunge here. Inhale. Exhale, step back, high plank. Then downward facing dog straight away. I think I may have lost a few people. Is the connection still straight? Can you guys see me? The chat room is all good. If you are happy in your down dog, stay in your downward facing dog. All right. If there is a problem with you, I think I'm a little bit delayed. Okay, child's pose, everybody. Let's meet some child's pose, sinking the hips back and down. There you go. Stretching the arms straight and pointing. I think I've just caught up with my internet. From your child's pose, inhale here. One deep inhale, exhale, side out. From your child's pose, you're gonna rock forward to a tabletop position, hands directly underneath the shoulders, knees directly underneath the hips. Tucking the toes here when you're ready, lifting the hips up and back to downward facing dog. From your downward facing dog, you're going to focus in, really setting it up. Feet are hip distance apart. Take a deep inhale here to reset your energy. Exhale, maybe flutter the left side out. Let's move into the second side, left side. Inhale, left leg rises, three-legged dog. Exhale, low lunge, left foot steps in between the hands. Sipana mudra. Inhale to invite new energy. Back knee drops, Anjali Yasana. Exhale to stay. Inhale once again. Exhale, half splits, half Hanumanasana, hands surround that left foot. Inhale, exhale. This time on the inhale, Sipana Mudra again. Anjali Asana, inhale, stay for the exhale. Tuck the back right toes, stand all the way up or straighten that back leg to that high crescent lunge. Inhale, exhale. This time, Slice it open, warrior two. So left knee is directly above the left ankle. You're pushing down into the outer skirt of that right foot. Capital to shape the arms. Sit nice and low if you can. Really challenge yourself here. Build up some energy. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, peaceful warrior. You know where we're going. So push through, peaceful warrior. Inhale. And then peaceful triangle. Give your leg a bit of a rest, straightening it out. Inhale, one last time. And then exhale, we're gonna to twist to the long edge of our mat, both toes pointed to the long edge, and then the left hand comes down to the earth. Inhale, the right arm comes up. Exhale to twist and release that old energy. Inhale to fill up. Exhale, right hand comes down to the mat. Inhale, up with this wide leg forward. And then exhale to fall down over the legs. Breaths. Inhale and exhale. One more. Inhale and exhale. Inhale. Hands come under the shoulders. Heels come in. Toes go out. Bend the knees. This one is a bit of a challenge. So Pana Mudra. Inhale. Horse pose. Exhale. One more breath. Inhale. And exhale, hands come back down to the earth, forward fold over the midline. Inhale to halfway lift just once. And then exhale, low lunge, hands frame the left foot. Find the inhale. Exhale, step back to your high plank, stunning. Find the inhale here, you can take down to your knees. Exhale, child's pose, sink it down, back and down. Take a moment here in your child's pose to reset. Take a few breaths in and out of the nose. Fill up your lungs. Exhale, part the lips side out. I want you to focus on what your physical body might be feeling at this moment. Maybe the combination of essential oils has really brought something different into your practice. Just go through a quick check with yourself. Feel like, you know, when last have we even taken a moment to feel what it's like to be in our physical bodies? Have an appreciation for our ability to move, our ability to heal. One deep inhale as you let that feeling fill up your body. Exhale, part the lips and let go of what no longer serves you. All right, we're gonna go through that flow one more time, exactly the same way. Let's see what it feels like in the body this time. From child's pose, inhale. As you rock forward to tabletop, hands on the shoulders, knees on the hips. 
tuck the toes and lift your hips down with facing dog. A little bit faster this time. You can take it as slow as you'd like. You can also stay in child's pose if you want to. Inhale, right leg rises, three-legged dog. Switch to up and back. Whoops, I kicked the table. And exhale, right foot steps in between the hands, low lunge. Let's try to get one deep breath to one deep move. Back knee drops, inhale. Anjana Yasana with Sepala Mudra. Fill up your lungs at the top. You now reach the peak of your inhale. And then exhale, half splits. Slowly exhale, release it all the way back. So you take a deep breath here one more time. And exhale. Next inhale, all the way up to the high crescent lunge. So you come through that Anjana Yasana and then lift up and out. A strong movement in the legs. Inhale and then exhale. Open to warrior two. My back's facing you, so I'm going to swap it over. You're in your warrior two. Deep bend into the right knee. Right knee's over the right ankle. Find the inhale. Sweep it up and back. Peaceful warrior. Straight away. Exhale. Peaceful triangle. Straight to the front right leg. Find the inhales. You reach the left or the right of the right arm up, and then place it down towards the long edge of your mat. Both feet are facing towards the long edge of the mat. Right hand comes down. Right or left arm goes up, inhale. Exhale, left hand meets the right. You're in a wide-legged forward fold. Inhale to halfway, lift hands on your shoulders. Exhale, fold down. Just one breath here this time, inhale. Exhale, fold deeper. Next, inhale, halfway, lift hands on your shoulders. Exhale, heels come in, toes go out. Deep bend into the knees. Inhale, up. Horse. Keep a nice deep bend into the knees as the arms point up with that supana mudra. Find the inhale. Exhale, stand all the way up. Straighten the legs. Inhale, reach up. And for fun, let's exhale one last time. Let's go down. Horse pose. This time, all the way up. Just start off straighten the legs. Turn towards the front of your mat. Come to standing at the front of your mat. Samasthiti. Let's take an inhale here. Fill up your lungs. Exhale, side out. Let's take a vinyasa to reset our breath and movement together from afar. Inhale, circle, sweep the arms up, fill up your lungs. Exhale, forward fold, deep bend into the knees here. Let's protect our backs. Inhale, halfway lift, hands to shins, spine long. Exhale, step the high plank. You can stay in your high plank and shift straight back to the ground dog if you'd like to, or you can join me with a vinyasa. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. From your down dog, set it up. Feet lift distance apart. Press into the hands. Feel the pressure into the hands. Feel your physical presence onto your mat. Feel that frankincense doing its work, rounding you down. Inhale, left leg rises. Three-legged dog, last lift. Exhale, left foot steps in between the hands, low lunge. Inhale here. Exhale, right knee comes down. Inhale, Anjaniyasana, Sipana Mudra, you lift. Straight away at that peak of that inhale, you exhale to half splits, half Hanumanasana, hands around the shin. Stay for one more inhale. Exhale, release what no longer serves you. Sipana Mudra again, inhale through Anjaniyasana, all the way to high crescent lunge, look up and out of the right leg, find the inhale. Exhale, blossom open to warrior two. Inhale here. Stay for the exhale. Inhale, peaceful warrior. Right hand, or rather left hand, sweeps up and back. And on the exhale, straighten the left leg, peaceful triangle. Find the inhale. Exhale, both toe, toes point towards the long edge of the mat. Left hand comes down the midline. Right hand goes up, you're twisting. Inhale, and stay for the exhale. Next inhale, really reach the right fingertips up. And then exhale, both hands come down. Inhale, Halfway lift, hands under the shoulders in that forward fold. And then exhale, fold over the midline. Find one more inhale. And exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift, hands underneath the shoulders. Exhale, heels come in, toes go out. You may rarely feel the thighs here, but I encourage you to carry on. Inhale to horse, bend the knees, stand up with the torso. Stay for one, exhale. Inhale, stand all the way up. To start, really feel the expression in the arms and then exhale, sink down one last time for horse. Keeping that soprano mudra in the hands. Inhale, star. Straighten the legs. Exhale, summer seat to heat, top of your space. Step to the top of your mat. 
and take a moment here to calm our breath down. Maybe take a big inhale through the nose, a big sigh, a big exaggerated sigh out the mouth, releasing any stagnant heat, stagnant energy. As we inhale, circle, sweep the arms up, big sweeping action, gather the energy. Exhale, root that energy through your heart and forward fold, send it down into the earth. Inhale, lift that energy back up from the earth, halfway lift, and then exhale, fold. One, that inhale, circle, sweep the arms up, gather the energy, really feel that expansion in the chest. And then exhale, forward fold, send that excess energy down into the earth. Inhale, halfway lift, let's take from the earth what, what we need. And then exhale, fold. This time, last movement, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the palms, step back to your high plank. Find one more inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. Dropping to your knees. Knees come down, sitting on your heels. If it's uncomfortable for you to sit on your heels, you can take an easy cross-legged or sukhasana position. Let's place the left hand on our heart center, the right hand on our belly. And just take a few moments to reflect on what the class meant to us, or any kind of emotions that may have arisen in this time, any kind of sensations in the body. Absolutely anything that you felt physically or emotionally is completely valid. It is your expression. It is what makes you unique you. Just closing off the practice, some silence, three deep breaths. Let's take our last inhale together, emptying out any residual air out the lungs. As we take a deep inhale through the nose, maybe holding full at the top. Then you take one more sip of air. Stand tall, stand proud, be proud of your body. Inhale. And part the left side out. Gently blinking the eyes open. I know that Jay's got one or two more things to say to us before we close off our session. So yeah, Jay, I'll let you take the lead on that. Oh my gosh, that was amazing. Um, yeah. Thank you so much, Regan. Absolutely. Definitely fun. Always fun to. Yeah, yeah, really nice to be able to do that with someone. Um. And so I think, have you told people that they can actually do these classes with you, that you're amazing and do these 10 minute flows all the time on Instagram? Yeah, so I am going to post a, my website on the chat group if you guys are interested. So go have a look at that. I've just launched it. Very excited about it. Um, like I said, I, I found a Regan Ray. So that's my yoga brand. If you want to look, I actually just said, I said that to Lorianne privately. Um, if you want to look at my Instagram, I post weekly 10 minute flows. My whole idea behind that was just to encourage people to take that moment for themselves. Because I think we are so inclined to be so busy. And I think once we realize that it only takes a moment to profoundly change our lives, so much else shifts into place. Um, so yeah, you can go look at that on my social media. It's Regan Ray. And I've just posted my website on there. So Regan underscore amazing thank you so much so to close out i just wanted to say um that for anyone who's interested in a starter kit i wanted to offer you all you know it's 2268 rand and it gives you everything you're seeing on this picture there's 10 of the most versatile and useful essential oils that you get as well as this really cute beautiful diffuser that runs for up to 10 hours and changes light settings. It also runs with no light if you want to use it at night, which I do. I actually had to bring it to this space because this is my one that's next to my bed always. And um, when you get a premium starter kit, you actually get a wholesale account. So you don't ever have to buy anything ever again. But if and when you did, maybe you're loving lavender or you're low on whatever oil it is, then you would get it at the wholesale price. Um, you also get a personalized link. And so if you're like, oh, I, I know my sister would love this or my, my mom or a best friend, you can actually, the company will, will give you 575 Rand every time that you actually share about it. So we do things so differently. Um, with getting a starter kit, you're going to have someone who's going to hold your hand 
and help you to get the most out of every single one of those essential oils. It definitely requires some education piece to this. And so it is a referral based business. And so I would love to be that person to help you to start your journey and to understand everything. And of course, if you were invited here today by someone, definitely go back to them and let them know that you are interested um, in getting a starter kit of oils and a diffuser. And then our resources that we have for you guys with Hello Essentials, we have WhatsApp groups. So you'll get oily tips, recipes, resources, any questions that you might have. So we're all connected. Um, we do have our Instagram account, which is hello.essentials.south.africa. And you can follow that for ideas, tips. We do giveaways. We do a lot of fun things on there. And of course, we do have Facebook groups as well. So for anyone who's actually interested in maybe even the business side of Young Living, even if you're just interested, you can let us know and we will show you. We do things so differently. We are all about sharing from the heart and sharing because things are actually working for us and we're seeing the success of the oils. But there's never, ever any pressure or minimums or it's not like a sales job at all. So it's very different and it's quite a beautiful opportunity, especially given this time when so many people have either been let go or aren't sure what they're going to do. So we, we say, yeah. if you love this product, which most people fall in love with it and you want to share about it, then that's all you need to do. So, you know, some people are like, Oh, I'm not a salesperson. That's great. We don't actually love salespeople because we're not here trying to sell. We're much more about purpose over profit. So um, a nice meditation that I thought that I would share with you guys is just taking three minutes with an essential oil of your choice. And this is really to just help you restore a sense of balance in your daily life. So any essential oil, I often do this at home. I mean, our oils are so beautifully colored, as you can see, and I will just either choose by attraction to that color. I feel like my body always tells me what it needs. So you can just grab any oil that's speaking to you, sit quietly in a comfortable seated position. I really love the position that Regan just had us finish on, which is just like, you know, sitting with our heels under our bum or even cross-legged, it doesn't matter, just to ground you, but also to make you feel calm and comfortable. And then make it a quiet space. Feel your feet somehow on the floor. They must be connected so that we're grounding. And then you can literally just smell it from the bottle if you want to, or you can put a drop in the palm of your hands and then rub that together and do that aroma dome and inhale that essential oil for three minutes. When you're doing that, ask yourself, what would you not do better from a state of relaxation? And I think that that's just such a, a beautiful intention to kind of hold and to think about. So having said that, what I just wanted to follow up with some final pieces. Firstly, a huge thanks to Regan, who kind of came to me and said, hey, I think we should collaborate and do this thing. And I want to teach yoga and you talk about your oils and I think it's such a beautiful unison and it is and I love this and it's so oh, great that the oils you. work so well in like conjunction. Um, so all of you have given me your email addresses. Thank you for that. I'm actually going to plug that in to a little wheel of names thing and it sort of randomly will select two people to win this yoga mat spray that you guys will then get. We will reach out to you and get your information so we can ship that out to you. And then we will also send you any, like some follow up information. So we'll send you the recording of this class and we will send you some other information that you might be interested in learning more or whatever it is. So it will just be a one time email with the winner's names in that and some follow up stuff if you want to follow Regan or reach out to her about yoga. And if you need any help with essential oils, reach out to me. And so we will be more than glad to help you and take care of you. So again, thank you guys so much for joining us today. Was there anything else you wanted to share, Regan? We're like, we did this in 55 yeah, minutes. Just a big thank you. Um, I know that I learned so much. I've already told myself that, that I can't wait a second longer before getting myself a starter kit. I think it's going to be an incredible tool um, just in my personal practice and to share with my students. Like I said, if you guys want a class, you can go have a look at my website. You can, I can sign you up. You can join me for a private session. If there's any questions you had, I'm more than open to messaging you throughout my day to make sure that you understand and feel comfortable in things. And a big, big thank you to Jade. This was awesome. She prepared oh. so well and she's just been 
so amazing in our conversations and so open and welcoming. So yeah, just big loves to everyone. I hope everyone's feeling good in the lockdown and getting and keeping safe. Thank you, Regan. Thank you for getting me to get my body moving on this Saturday morning here. So I'm like hugely grateful for that. And um, I think <laughs> there's also um, a survey that we're going to share with you guys. Please be honest and open in that survey so we know how we can improve and we can get a chance to hear from you what you liked about this or maybe what you would want to know more. So let us know and we will definitely do more of these that are more catered to what your needs are. Okay, so yeah, namaste. Sure. I'm looking forward to our future sessions. Yes, awesome. Thank you, Regan. And thank you all for joining us. Have a beautiful Saturday evening and um, go enjoy your delicious dinner that you're going to have and have a great, wonderful, restorative sleep. So thank you all. And am I right, Regan? We do a namaste. A namaste. <laughs> Bye, everyone. <laughs> Bye, guys. Thank you so much.